Hello, my name is Michael Huber, and my project is on the environmental impact of mobile phones for my management info systems class at LMU. The first handheld portable phone was developed by Motorola and Martin Cooper in 1973. Prior to this time, mobile technology was limited to phones installed in cars and other vehicles. But on April 3, 1973, Martin Cooper made the very first cell phone call from the streets of New York City at a public demonstration using a phone that weighed two pounds. Imagine you were a New Yorker in 1973 and you saw someone actually moving around while making a phone call. There weren't cordless telephones, so this must have been quite a sight. Motorola introduced the 16-ounce Dynatac phone soon thereafter in 1983 at the cost of $3,500 if you wanted to own one. Today, there are nearly two cell phones in existence for every three people on Earth. Mobile phones have adapted into much more than devices for making calls. They are used as alarm clocks, GPS navigation devices, MP3 players, and can even provide the entire internet in the palm of your hand. There are 4.1 billion mobile phone subscriptions in the world, which is about 61% of the global population. That's about 3.5 times the number of PCs in use around the world. There are 3.5 billion cell phones in use worldwide, or about half the global population. There are also 3 billion active users of text messaging at this moment, and Americans average about 4 text messages per day. In the consumerist culture we live in, a rapidly changing cell phone technologies and service provider incentives to upgrade phones have created a world in which old cell phones are becoming more and more of a problem. So why do we get rid of our cell phones? In a survey done by Consumer Reports, consumers gave an even split of reasons varying from wanting new features, wanting something new, changing carriers or service plans, or simply changing because their battery couldn't hold a charge. So what happens to all these discarded phones? They don't just disappear. The average consumer we use a cell phone for only about 18 months before discarding it, long before the five-year lifespan the devices have on average. Approximately 140 million phones are discarded each year. That's 65,000 tons of waste-containing toxic metals. And currently, there are estimated to be more than 500 million used cell phones in the U.S. sitting in people's drawers or in our landfills. So whether we like it or not, discarded mobile phones are having a drastic effect on the environment. On top of that staggering number, we as consumers don't even know the value of what we're throwing away. Mobile phones may be the most valuable form of e-waste out there. An average phone contains about $1 in precious metals, mostly gold. Don't worry, that's not entirely your fault. Many users are not aware of the potential damage to the environment that incorrect disposal of cell phones can cause. Incorrect disposal means throwing any cell phone away which is the typical fate assigned to an unwanted device. If not disposed of properly, the metals from the cell phone can leak out through corrosion and cause a series of problems in the environment. Some examples of dangerous metals present in phones are cadmium, which is known to cause cancer, and lead, which is known to cause liver damage in adults and neurological problems in children. If thrown away, these phones go to a landfill where they remain, and because so many elements of phones do not decompose, the level of harmful toxins increases with time, and so does the potential damage. Any of the hazardous or poisonous substances could contaminate local water supplies or the nearby soil. The long-term damage to the environment from cell phone waste is much more large-scale in the form of global pollution. When waste that cannot be broken down properly, such as that in a cell phone, is decomposing, it creates methane gas. Despite popular belief, methane gas is actually more damaging and thus has a major impact on global warming. Not many people realize that disposing of their cell phone in an incorrect manner can cause such harmful effects on the environment and the future of the planet. Cell phones also use a ton of energy. An average cell phone will use 4,221 megajoules of energy, which is the equivalent of 32 gallons of gas and 246 pounds of carbon dioxide. In one day, to charge every cell phone in use on Earth would require the equivalent of 584,000 gallons of gas and would produce 35 million pounds of carbon dioxide. If we charge our cell phones half as often, it would be equivalent 
to taking half a million cars off the road. Currently, less than 2% of old cell phones are being recycled or donated. There are ways that you can help combat the damage that cell phones can cause to the environment. You can donate or recycle your old cell phone and get a new one only when it's really necessary, not just when it's convenient or when your contract is up for renewal. Besides saving the environment from the added consumer waste and the potential harmful toxic metals, recycling your phone can do wonders for energy savings also. Did you know recycling 515 phones will save enough energy to power one home for a year? And if all the thrown away cell phones are recycled, it would save enough energy to power 272,000 homes. For more information on how to recycle your phone, go to www.recyclemycellphone.org.